Hey guys, what's up? Deja Forest has been in John Carter and the World of Mars' stories since 1912, since they first started bringing out those characters in those stories. And over that time, specifically like more recently, there's been a lot of artwork done of Deja Forest, the Princess of Mars. And if you've ever seen the John Carter movie, John Carter from Mars or whatever it is, um, it was a decent movie, it was okay, it wasn't perfect, um, but it had the Deja Thoris character in it and that she was depicted really, really well. And all these great artists have been drawing Deja Thoris, like Joe Jusco, like um, uh, Alex Ross, they've all been doing Deja Thoris and lots of different artists have been doing Deja Thoris. So check this out. This is some of the artwork of Deja Thoris done by a lot of different artists doing the same thing. And I'll just show you the cover of this book here. And this is basically uh, the book, and it's called um, Deja Thoris in the Worlds of Mars. And this is really pretty cool. And uh, this is actually done by Dynamite, who makes the comic books of Deja Thoris. So it's been in comic books and stuff like that. Uh, and they also make the comic book of Red, Red, uh, Red Sonia. So there's that. Let me just show you some of the beautiful artwork in here done by all of these different people. Some of these amazing works, you could see like how great she's all drawn. And basically she kind of like walks around wearing just jewelry with not any, really no clothes, but just jewelry. Like all that she wears is jewelry. And that covers her up a little bit, a little bit, you know. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you some of the better stuff in here. Some of the beautiful artwork in this book is just amazing. I could just show you like the best of what's in here. It's really cool. It's just a story about Mars. And it's an interesting thing because I never read the books, but I saw the movie and it's Mars is interesting because John Carter, he basically gets teleported to Mars, right? Like he gets teleported. He, he's got this like magical or, or some kind of technological like pendant or something like that. And he gets teleported to Mars. Just check out some of the interpretations of this character. Just amazing. She's always wearing like a lot of jewelry <clears throat> and she's got like, um, that dagger in her hand, sort of like a short, like a small sword dagger kind of thing. Really amazing stuff, amazing stuff. And I just like, it's amazing that, that they have this book with what, what it has in it. You could see some of the old firearms, like um, the, the pistol that she's holding is like an early 20th century pistol. Like they don't make those anymore. Those are like, kind of like those old single shot pistols and whatever, they're not even like revolvers. And they had revolvers in the Wild West and stuff like that. And you can see some of the amazing artworks. This is her, like, I guess, winning some kind of a battle between her and somebody else. <laughs> you know, in, a, in some kind of, uh, you know, won a fight. And some of these are a little bit more cartoony, where you see, like, she's pretty badass. She's got her sword, she's got her pistol, and, you know, she's, uh, she could kind of take care of herself. You know, she could protect herself. And stuff uh it's beautiful stuff but of course john carter always uh protects her and stuff like that i think this is the john carter and sort of like a picture of john carter's legs and then deja thoris like um sitting there being princess of mars <laughs> i mean the whole concept is pretty freaking cool like princess of mars you know i'm just gonna show you some of the better stuff of this just some of it is just amazing really cool stuff Princess of Mars. It's cool. Like if you haven't seen, like if you haven't read the stories, you know, or the comic books, I read, a, I don't think I've even read the comics. I saw the movie. Um, you'll see that like, basically it's this science fiction movie where this guy, John Carter finds this like some kind of like emblematic kind of talisman or something like that. And it teleports him to Mars. And because the gravity is less, he jumps around a lot and, and that gives him a superpower of like being able to jump really, really high, like 30 feet in the air. Oh wow, check this one out. Some kind of a Martian monster and then you have her and stuff like that. She's really depicted in this book a lot with that pistol. I mean, I guess that's sort of like her thing. She doesn't have a holster though. She has to hold the pistol the whole time. Um, some of the stuff is really cool. Definitely amazing fantasy and um, even though this is science fiction, you don't see a lot of like sci-fi uh, sort of like elements in it, right? You mean, I mean, she's from Mars, but if you could see like what she's, she's got like plain um, melee weapons, you know, she's got like an old pistol and then she's got like a dagger and stuff like that. So it's not really, um, 
you know, a lot of like highly technological weapons or anything, or the whole thing doesn't look that technological at all. Like though she's got a simple lamp next to her and stuff like that. And on the other side, this is, I, this is one of the Martians that's in the story, this green guy with like four arms and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Um, this is kind of like the book to get if you want like every artist putting it together, you know, their version of the Princess of Mars, Dejah Thoris. And you can see like more amazing, like this one, she's got a cape. And she's got like a gun. No holster. Why no holster? And why no scabbard for her sword? You know? That's the thing. She needs a scabbard and she needs a holster. Um, some of this stuff is amazing. A lot of this looks like Joe Jusco. I mean, like, his stuff is really cool. I wish I had an art book with Joe Jusco, you know? I don't know if he even made an art book. I don't think I've seen one of uh, Joe Jusco's work. I've seen other Joe Jusco's work in magazines and stuff like that. But I haven't really seen an art book with him or any of his art. I guess you can buy prints at his online store, but an actual book? I don't know if he's ever made one. Ah, a scabbard. There you go. Now, now, you, now, you, now you know, you, know, you got a scabbard. Okay, good. Now you have a place to like sheave that dagger. <laughs> That's pretty freaking cool. Um, this is a little bit this way, I guess. Let me just see. Yeah, it's that way. I don't know why they, they made it like they did that way. Like they could have just done it so you don't have to turn the book around, but they, they did it like like that. It's kind of weird. Um, and some of these are just like a lot of different interpretations. You can see some are more cartoony, some are more realistic looking. Um, it, it really does depend. Here's a really nice one. Her with a real sword, not a dagger. That's a sword, man. That's a real sword. <laughs> and no, no, no scabbard, of course. And then, you know, they just, they just forget about the scabbards in this thing. Uh, oh, that's cool. She's like tied up and this gigantic sort of like <laughs> tentacle monster is gonna get her. I don't know. She's gonna be saved you know, in the nick of time anyway. She doesn't get, she never gets like eaten by a monster. She's been around since 1912. And she's never been eaten by a monster. <laughs> as far as I know, I mean, maybe she has been eaten by a monster and then, but then, you know, she's just too good of a character that they're, they're gonna keep her there. They're gonna keep writing books about her. And I don't know if the guys, I don't think the guy's still around anymore who wrote the books and stuff like that, but they're still making comic books with her. And, um, you know, that there might be more movies with her. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool to see like more of that kind of like iconic uh, look and stuff like that. It does tell you what, like who made what paintings. Like this one was made by, um, by Paul Renaud, Paul Renaud, who I haven't heard of, but it's very nice. He's really good. It's really cool. See some of the, like that's her throne. She's got her like crystal and stuff like that. You know, it's interesting. It's like a combination of um, um, technology and ancient, you know, like kind of like, I guess, you know, I guess some things you don't really need to improve, you know, like a sword is a sword. Swords are always going to be cool. They're always going to be like the thing, you know, people are going to always prefer a sword fight. It's more interesting in a, in a movie to have a sword fight than, than anything else. You know, swords are always going to be cool. There's no, there's no like need to improve a sword. It's already improved enough. You know, it's already cool. It doesn't need to be improved. More of um, her on her throne. Yeah, other things can be improved. Swords. You don't need to improve a sword. Swords are cool no matter what. <laughs> um, the thing. There's just so many pictures of her in this thing that it's like. I'm only trying to like, I'm trying to like show you like the guys like the best of this and every page I turn to, it looks amazing. So I'm just showing like every time I see something really cool on here, I'll just show you like some of these. It's basically, you know, it's her and she kind of wears capes and then jewelry and she has, she has a pistol and a sword. Um, just gonna 
try to do, here we go. Try to do some of the better ones on here. Some really cool pictures. Of her. And, and, and yeah, a lot of people do cosplay her at conventions. Like Comic-Cons, I constantly see, see her being cosplayed. Her and Red Sonia, you know? And you can see more of this artwork. Because it is a, she's a, she's a thing. You know, even if people don't really read the books or follow the story or anything like that, she's, she's a cool character to cosplay. They'll still cosplay her because she looks really cool and her outfit is really cool. Some amazing, amazing work. More blades. You know, it, it does look like she can like stand for herself in a fight. Oh man. She's like a badass, like kind of like adventurer. At the same time, she's a princess. Um, there's these amazing, amazing works, paintings with her. Another like creature from Mars. If you notice like a lot is red because it's Mars and everything's red in Mars. Cause Mars is the rocks are red and everything's red. It's like all of the, <laughs> Mars is the red planet. Let me see more of these pictures of like her with like a cape and stuff behind her. Let me see, let me see. Oh, here's another one on her throne. <laughs> nice. Let's take a look here. What's really nice in here? This was an interesting one. It's sort of like a lot going on, hard to tell what's happening. It looks like she's in a battle with some kind of beast or monster or giant or something like that. Uh, no, can't show that. <laughs> um, On. Just trying to show something that I could show. A lot of it is like sort of oh here's this is kind of cool. Sort of like <laughs> let me see and not some nice there and uh, Joe Jusco doing this one. I recognize that. That's a classic Joe Jusco doing that. That's really cool. So yeah, man, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and I will see you guys in another video later.